Hey guys and girls, how are you doing? I really want to kick off today's video with thanking you. Saying a big thanks for all this overwhelming support we're seeing on the channel. And as usual, we're back with more practical data solutions. That's your Android smartphone, or maybe my Android smartphone in this case. Question is, does it have recycle bin or something like a trash? That's what we're going to find out. Let's get started. In this video, besides searching for a recycle bin inside Android, we're also going to talk about file recovery options in the very same operating system. I'll show you some easy to follow practical data solutions. And if you anyways like these, make sure to subscribe to get similar content. Now, the truth is that inside Android, there's no dedicated Android deleted files folder or kind of recycle bin, but when you delete files, they're usually not entirely gone, so there's still possibility for recovery. There are a few tips and tricks which we can follow in order to improve the performance of our system and also to make sure that we keep temporary files empty. Already I've mentioned quite many things, so let's talk about these topics one by one. Even though Android phones don't have a dedicated trash folder, there still are options to empty the trash on Android and the first method we're looking at is how to clear the cache data from a specific app. Just go to the phone settings and select apps and notifications. Choose the particular app and tap the clear cache in order to delete its cache data. Secondly, we can get rid of some of the unused downloaded files. Let's go to the file manager, open the downloads folder, choose the files that you no longer need, select the more icon and now tap on the delete button to remove all these files. This is going to definitely free up some precious space. Thirdly, since we talk about gaining some space, in Android there is reserved space for the apps and available space for the storage and both of them are rather independent. So let's take a look at what to do in case there is no space for the apps. Apparently you're going to have to uninstall some of the already available apps. Go to the settings, navigate to apps and make sure to uninstall all the apps that you no longer need and use, and this is going to give you more space for installing new apps. Alternatively, if there is not enough space on your SD card, then you simply figure out which are the files which are taking more space, delete them, and you're done. As a fourth method, let me show you the smart storage option, something that most current Android phones do support. When the feature is enabled, your smartphone will delete all the backed up photos and videos automatically. We go to settings, we go to storage, we tap smart storage and toggle the switch to enable the feature and we can also select and fine tune the time span after which you want your device to get rid of these backed up files. Last thing you can do in case your phone is running out of space to add a micro SD card. This phone doesn't support that but if you're lucky your phone most likely does so get a suitable size, put it inside the phone, move the files from the phone's local storage to the SD card and there you go, lots of precious gigabytes on your smartphone that you can use again. Right, these were some good ideas about file management and space management, but since we started to talk about figuring out where the trash is and the recycled bins, let me show you some of the most popular apps and where they store the trash. I'm gonna start with the email app and most people on Android use the Gmail app for that. So go to the more icon on Gmail, click on the trash option. This is going to display all the emails you have deleted from your Gmail account or have been automatically routed to the trash. Alternatively, you can use a file explorer with a similar feature and we're going to try with ES file explorer. Open the app, select the more icon on the top left corner, toggle the switch in front of recycle bin to enable the feature and that's going to simulate the existence of recycle bin on your Android phone and trust me this can be really useful. And the last popular app I want to show you is Google Photos which also has a trash folder. You can access the folder by tapping the more icon. Yeah, I think all that sounds about right. But wait, here's a bonus for you. If your microSD card gets corrupted or you eject it, but none of the data is readable and you really want these photos from the phone you have shot last week and you know they're stored on the microSD card, here's what to do. Download Recover It, our award-winning data recovery software. 
and launch it. And now the magic. Let's see how it happens. Make sure your micro SD card is connected to the computer. Select it. Now, the software is going to begin the scanning process in order to find all the deleted files. And you can pause it at any time or stop it at any point of time as long as you're sure that the files that you're looking for are already visible. Tap on these files. There's a very useful preview function. So if we talk about photos, at any point of time you can figure out whether you're about to restore the right kind of photos. Select the files you need to save. Click the recover button, select the destination. Done. Well, sounds about right. Yeah, a few ideas of how you can get rid of useless temporary files and a few ways to clear the cache and the data from your apps. And we have this bonus scene of how to use Recover 8 in case of sudden loss of data from your micro SD, in case it gets improper ejection or maybe, maybe you just can't access your so precious files. Well, whatever it is, I really cross the fingers so that you do not enter in this condition of, of losing precious data. And in case that happens, we're here to help. In case you have any follow-up questions, the comment section below the video is waiting for you. Uh, the links to Recover 8 and many other useful tools you're going to find in the description for more practical data solutions. That's the right button. Subscribe to us. If that was useful, hit the like. I'm Michael and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.